Researchers from Barcelona have created nanorobots, one injection of which reduces a cancerous tumor by 90%. Soon, robots will be able to take care of our pets, as demonstrated by Westwood Robotics engineers in a video featuring the humanoid robot Temis walking a smaller robot named Bruce on a leash. Amazon revealed how 750,000 robots employed by the company have impacted jobs and discussed the increasing number of robots each year. The latest creation from Robotic System Lab engineers is a huge four-legged robot with remarkable functionality and load-bearing capacity, suitable for applications in construction, military rescue operations, and various other fields. Additionally, a fascinating robot has learned to literally 3D print itself. These and other news in one video. People walk their dogs, but who do robots walk? It could be other dogs, or perhaps another robot. Engineers at Westwood Robotics presented such a peculiar and amusing scene in their new video. Currently, they are testing the capabilities of their robot Temis for various tasks, although there are no details yet on its autonomy and technical specifications. Watching another humanoid robot in action is still interesting. As for the little one on the leash, that happens to be the already available Bruce, a versatile dynamic robot. This open platform for research and education was developed in collaboration with another robotics lab, Ramella, which is currently actively supported by Bill Gates. Researchers from Barcelona have created nanorobots, one injection of which reduces a bladder cancer tumor by 90%. Studies have already been conducted on mice, and the results obtained during the trials are simply astonishing. These tiny nanomachines consist of a porous silicon sphere and operate on urea. Another important component is radioactive iodine, a radioisotope commonly used for localized tumor treatment. The nanorobots move along the walls of the bladder, accumulating in tumors and providing effective drug delivery, with one dose of nanorobots proving more effective than conventional treatment. Bladder cancer has a high incidence worldwide, requiring constant monitoring and repeated treatment, making it one of the most expensive types of cancer. Researchers believe that the new method will reduce the cost of treatment, but additional testing is needed to assess the potential recurrence of the disease. It appears that in the near future, we may witness a revolution in the treatment of such a formidable disease as cancer. Engineers from the Robotic Systems Lab at the Zurich University of Applied Sciences have introduced Barry, a versatile towing robot with a payload capacity of 90 kilograms. The developers decided that the world has enough four-legged pet and inspection robots, so it's time to focus on the functions that people initially envisioned for such machines. It's worth noting that one of the first quadruped robots was Boston Dynamics LS3, developed not as a dog, but as a mule for accompanying humans and carrying heavy loads. Unlike LS3, Barry is compact and relatively quiet. The robot weighs 48 kilograms, and it doesn't need to know the size, weight, or mass distribution of what it carries, making Barry's payload capacity genuinely useful, as it doesn't require adjustment for each load. Moreover, it can operate with a payload for more than two hours and cover almost 10 kilometers. The developers hope that the robot will quickly find applications on construction sites, among rescue teams, and as an unconventional option for a walking wheelchair. Developers of the Moly Robotic Kitchen continue their efforts to refine the idea. Moving away from incredible concepts and super expensive solutions requiring complete reconstruction, they have shifted towards more traditional approaches. However, making these solutions universal and adaptable for the consumer sector, or at least for cafes and restaurants, is still challenging. Ideally, the company envisions the final product as a robot capable not only of preparing full-fledged dishes, but also of notifying when ingredients need replenishing, suggesting recipes based on available items, learning your preferences, and even cleaning surfaces. Once the robot is perfected, the company plans to start mass sales at a price starting from $13,000. It's worth noting that this price includes not only the manipulators, but also the kitchen stove, sink, working surface, and cabinets. A recent study by The Times revealed that nearly half of Americans spend between $6,000 and $25,000 on kitchen furniture. So it may not be such a high price for a robotic kitchen. How soon do you think chef robots will appear in our kitchens? Meet Philobot, a robot that literally grows its way towards you, as it can 3D print its own body while reaching its final destination. According to the developers, the robot is designed for exploring other planets. It has the ability to grow upwards towards a light source, but it can be configured differently. The device has a conical head on top, a power source, a base station at the bottom, and a stem-like structure between them. As Philobot grows, it pulls a thread of thermoplastic from a spool on the base station to its head. The thread then passes through a heated extruder in the head, which slowly rotates relative to the body, allowing the robot to 3D print its body. 
Depending on light sensors, gyroscopes, and other built-in head electronics, parameters like temperature, orientation, and the speed of plastic deposition constantly change. Moreover, the robot automatically wraps around vertical supports if they are nearby, allowing it to spend less time and energy reaching its goal. If there are no supports, the robot makes its body stiff and strong to support itself. It's a remarkable and simultaneously awe-inspiring development. Amazon has announced that the new robots, Sequoia and Digit, will further increase the speed of delivering goods to customers. The company representatives also emphasize that these solutions enhance workplace safety. Overall, it's all about benefits, efficiency, with no potential unemployment for humans. By the way, the company currently employs 750,000 robots, including industrial manipulator robots Sparrow and Cardinal, autonomous mobile robot Proteus, and now humanoid robots Agility Robotics. However, the main innovation the company highlights is the Sequoia Robots, an automated system that identifies and allocates products for storage in the company's warehouse. In general, the number of robots in Amazon's warehouses is increasing every year, and their types are becoming more diverse. DJI has introduced the first drone in its lineup of delivery drones, the Flycard 30, which can transport cargo either in an onboard case or by suspending it on a winch. The choice of transport method depends on the landing site, specifically whether the drone can land there or if it needs to lower the cargo on the winch. The drone is equipped with eight mushroom-shaped propellers distributed among four arms, with two sets on each arm. In the standard configuration with two batteries, the drone can carry a payload of 30 kilograms over a distance of up to 16 kilometers, at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour. If the drone operates with only one battery, its payload capacity increases to 40 kilograms, but the flight range decreases to 8 kilometers. The Flycard 30 can fly in moderate rain and operate in temperatures ranging from minus 20 to plus 45 degrees Celsius. OpenAI, the developer of the large language model GPT-4, has released a study on the potential misuse of artificial intelligence by malicious actors to create dangerous biological pathogens threatening human health and life. The article's authors concluded that GPT-4 does indeed increase the risk of the emergence of a biological threat, but not to the same extent as existing online resources and specialized education. The researchers also noted that GPT-4 often provides responses that could lead to mistakes or confuse potential terrorists. However, as artificial intelligence continues to advance, the situation may change, requiring further research. Japanese company Kawasaki has unveiled the second generation of its cargo drone, the K-Racer, featuring a 300-horsepower engine. This is not just a drone, it's a true cargo giant in the world of unmanned aerial vehicles. During testing, the K-Racer effortlessly lifted a 200 kilograms load attached to a cable into the air. The first version, K-Racer X1, made its debut in 2020, and in 2021, Kawasaki showcased its capabilities in loading and unloading cargo using a robotic system, completely eliminating the risk of contact with rotating blades. The X2 model, the subsequent generation, features a more traditional helicopter design with an increased rotor diameter of 7 meters. It has abandoned the wings and additional pulling propellers present in the X1. As a result, the payload capacity has doubled. Now, the K-Racer X2 can lift up to 200 kilograms at sea level. The maximum speed is not specified, but according to Kawasaki's statements, the range is about 100 kilometers, and the maximum autonomous operating time is approximately one hour. We hope you found something new and interesting in this video. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. Goodbye.